Rocket Man. Oi. Hey, weeb. Let's put on some. I'm all right. Self. Oh, that's not too loud. Once it starts up, you got the shot. How how was it? I wish you could, I could say that you're gonna feel fine in about a few hours. It's gonna be rough. I'm just gonna say, I was out on my ass. Pfizer might be different, because I did get the Moderna one. That's what was available. <laughs> what just exploded? feel so quiet. I changed up my um, <coughs> my desktop finally. So that way you stop Google or you goggling at the fucking desktop. I changed it to some animated berserk ones though, so I applaud your optimism. Yeah, no more Meru. At least right now. Supporting my thing this should be something right. Yeah. 
Ah, I think I see what exploded. What's up, that's trash can, Carla? You'd be fucked, man. Y'all nuked each other. Could have swore there was still one big green man. I'll be honest, I on I don't know if Berserk is ending. Because I think a lot of it will depend on on whether or not Miura said anything. But Miura kind of knew that he that he wasn't going to be surviving for much longer. Well, because like he had, that's the whole reason why he he got the uh, a team like together to help him create Berserk in the last like year and a half and that why he's been training them so that way he could I don't think he d thought he would get, he was going to go this early at all but I I think he kind of cuz he's been battling with that disease for a while, if I remember correctly, from what I was reading. Uh, me. So, depending on if he says like nothing, you know, like depending on what, what his will says and his family says. I don't know if this is the conclusive end to Berserk. Not yet, at least. It's definitely a good one to end off on for the time being. Because it's it, it, it still leaves a bit of hope for it to be continued down the line. But it still has somewhat of closure, because it, it closed out a lot of plot points we've been waiting for it to close up. Because... I'm pretty sure this was just the arc that finished. That that's my personal belief. Oh yeah. It would be strange not to think that they would have at least the next arc mostly planned out. No way I'm cracking this. Fuck. I definitely think that was a good end to the art. Uh, 
God damn. Like, it was so cute. Like, between Guts and Casca's child. Like, just spending some much needed time with both of his parents now that. What, now that. I think they both kind of understand who it is now. And that's the other interesting thing is, will the, the Moonlight Child, um, because of this, help Griffith retake his humanity? Or will that just be another sacrifice in his in, in sacrifice for him to get what he wants? hope that um because of this Only a fucking coward hides. uh Casca kind of help get get some of her memories back and doesn't or not memories but I hope that this helps with Casca recovering so that way she can actually see guts again well, I know you're here That's my dog. I don't know.
I don't. I, I'm assuming if the body dies, they both die, but Griffith would still go back and still have his body in the other world. And Moonlight Child would just be dead, I suppose. But it's always the possibility that he. Where'd that body go? God damn it. I wasn't finished with that body, and it just fucking. Oh, wait. Yeah, are you honest? Hmm. Yeah, the only reason why he's alive in the first place is because of corruption and then basically becoming demonized. And now he has an actual body because of what Griffith did. And not just the uh, mutated husk. So in some ways, Griffith helped the child become normal. But yes, also took any chance. away from him living with his parents unless Griffith vacates the host Assign someone to this. I need to assign someone to this. It's, it's interesting questions all around. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure that there is a way to accurately say what will happen. You know? I'm assuming he kind of just goes to sleep, yeah. It's kind of like how Griffith does, where he, you are Griffith, that consi just call considers it a, a dream. Moonchild would probably pr be pretty much the same. Wow, 
actually, hold up. It's better than all the than both the arms that I have on this one. Slightly better just for the fact that it has better health, even though it loses out a little bit on energy resistance. Left arm 70, 25, and 50. So lose out a bit on damage, gain a little bit on energy. Yeah, it, it, it's really fucked. That's the other thing. This will be interesting given the fact that this is the first time that Casca will have seen Griffith with her mind stable. Hmm. Ah, oh, I can't fucking nice end. There's too many defenses. interesting things. I got nothing else happen. I need right now. I think Preston may want to chat though. I will say the the other thing it did not seem that Casca was terrified of guts you know Interesting, interesting. Yeah. I just I I hate the fact that it was guts that that was the the trans the the the, 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 the what you call it. the trigger for it that really fucking sucks
I have fully working and repaired T45. Look at that. Let's see. I did just move it up. And two things I need. This one. I also need the science one. I have the science one next. Uh, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Yeah. A and the fact that finally he got what he wanted, which was basically the love of his life back, and she could not even see him without panicking, freaking out. It was really fucking sad and sucks. I'll be back. And then I don't have a lot of time left. Because I do have work at 2.30, so I have to get leaving in about 15 minutes. So, it, it was just a quick stream today, unfortunately, because I... I've been in an interesting m mindset lately, so... But I, I'm feeling a little bit better right now. But, yeah, I gotta be right.
Ooh, bones. All right. Oh. oh, so, so, so it, it, your arm finally hurts. Also, JP, do not fucking tell me that you're an anti-vaxxer. I will not be able to hang out with you any longer. And how the fuck is this not a useful vaccine? I'm sorry, but people still get the flu even though they get the flu shots. I 
and I'll be honest, I haven't gotten it once, and I've gotten the vaccine. And it reduces need of hospitalization for most people that get it. Yeah, just like the flu. The problem is dumb fucks who don't get the vaccine. That's always been the problem with vaccines, is people that don't believe that it works. That has quite literally been the problem with every single vaccine that has ever came out. Once people realize, like, oh, hey, if we all get it, we'll be fine. Yeah, because everybody gets it as a child. Chickenpox vaccine get is it gets. Actually, I got the chickenpox vaccine. I still got chickenpox as a kid. They're near extinct because of vaccines. And people actually admitted to the fact that they work. All this fucking stupid shit. That's, all these stupid people that say like, oh, it doesn't work just because they think it doesn't work doesn't make any fucking sense because they've done no research themselves and they're only using their own biases to fucking prove their points. anything about following the science it's quite literally that's just how vaccines work that's always how they've worked pick up a fucking book the chicken box doesn't do anything either then because I still got chicken box as a kid when I had the vaccine yet why do you think that one's useful huh it's the exact same thing. You can still get it. Because a lot a lot of the time, because people don't get the vaccine and give it a different version of it to the people that fucking got vaccinated for it. it, it you're, you're using a small subsection of fucking thing. To assume everything else. Yeah, usually when they do get chicken pox afterwards, it's, it's the shingles version. The worst one. One that can cause fucking holes in your heart. I'm saying that you don't have evidence either. That's all I'm saying. Is that the evidence evidence that you're using is all pretty much standard with every single vaccine when you have people that refuse to get it just that with the other ones like polio and fucking like shit like that people die because of those and then there's no longer any anti-vaxxers for that version it's the same thing that fucking happened in England when it came to the Fuck the start of the anti-vax version with the 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 three one the um, Moderna rumps and mumps and rubella or some or not Moderna it was measles mumps and rubella that three one when that one there was like something that fucking came up like like yeah it's it there's a high survival rate for people who don't have immune diseases like asthma or other shit. Nice. 
sheet in the hospital? Did she get the vaccine? Or is she just one of the ones that... I'm just saying, that shit doesn't exactly make sense. And just because you have a single case and where it doesn't, does not weigh every other case across the fucking United States to say otherwise, or any other country for that matter. Don't just look at United States shit, look at every other country. I just don't agree that you should look at any fucking one out source of news and fucking like, oh, I hear it on the radio all the time. Big fucking deal. Look at quite literally every other country and read their news as well because they're not going to be programmed to be for or against the United States own fucking shit. So you'll get an actual, an actual de depiction of what's going on in the world. Except for the fact that that's not how that works. When you work, when you're working with the general populace, do you go for the strongest link in the chain? No. You test against the weakest, and then you give that to everyone. So there's no special treatment. That's how shit works when it comes to government and general populace. Because when you go for the strongest, that's how you get people that think that Bill Nye wants to, f or not Bill Nye, fucking Bill Gates wants to kill everybody. To fuck for population shit. It's like, no. Nah. Quite literally, you test and you treat for the worst case scenario. Not the strong people in the world. Because you know what that happens? That causes people to die. So people complain all they want. Suck it fucking up. Quite literally how that works. You suck it up. Because you're not the, pr you're not the problem in this case. If you have a strong immune system and you can handle getting getting it too bad no one cares about you you're not the problem you're not the issue you're not what they're treating for but they have to use a blanket coverage for the people who are in the worst case so shut up when it comes to that stuff it quite literally if you don't want to get it don't go near people at all lock yourself in a basement then that's you do what you want you can, if you can do that, you can do that. So what? Again, you're not the point. Just because things are like that, you're not the point. The people who actually mat like can get sick and die from this is the point. That's why everything is done the way that it has. It's not all about you. It's not all about the person down the road who got COVID and was able to still go to work and be completely fine the, the the point is vaccines work in a very specific way and that is everyone gets it because you got the vaccine that's how vaccines kind of compromise your immune system so that way you learn to deal with it that's how a vaccine works i have to go to work 
And I'm kind of sick and tired of arguing this dumb shit. Because it's clear you're not really thinking about it all and just thinking about your own biased opinion on it. Just saying. Anyway, see ya. I gotta get going. Thanks for frustrating the fuck out of me.